Hey, I'm John. And I'm Anna. Welcome to another episode of Hat Creek Happenings. Well, at summer camp, we spend one night each week cooking out over the campfire. And probably my favorite part about cooking over the fire is cooking s'mores. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking, could there be other combinations besides a typical marshmallow and chocolate? Hmm. So we came up with a few unique combinations and we're going to see, will, will it s'more? So I don't know about you, but sometimes I hate having to wait to eat my dessert until after dinner. So we decided to make a s'more with hot dog and marshmallow. That way you can have dinner and dessert at the same time. Makes so, sense to me. I mean, right. I know, right? So you ready to give this a try? I think so. <laughs> All right. Just my hot dogs coming out. Okay, you ready? Yep. One, two, three. three. Mmm. Oh, it's not that bad. Not a fan of the ketchup, but... I definitely say if you're one of those types that, you know, you don't mind food touching... Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. No, yeah, I think it no. works. Okay. Um, okay, so... So what do we think? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? What's more? Yes! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> nice. Alright. Well... I know some people out there are more of um, organic type mm -hmm. eaters. Yep. Um, so the next s'more idea that we came up with was instead of graham cracker, mm -hmm. maybe maybe we should try tree bark. I yeah, mean, why not? on <laughs> natural, mm -hmm. yep. free range. Exactly. So you, you ready for go. this? All right, here we go. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> It's really crunchy. It's hard to chew. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but the peanut butter is a nice touch. I like that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We did put peanut butter on it. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. It helps. Crunchy peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Well. Wow. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's more? It's maybe weird, but. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I definitely think so. Mm -hmm. if, yeah. If, if that's what enough. you're looking for. Uh -huh. Oh, man. All right. So, personally, I'm not a big fan of hot food, but I know a lot of people like that, like, extra kick to their meal. So, we making a s'more with marshmallow and habanero pepper, um. which I've heard is quite hot. So, we'll I can't tell goes. you how much I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, me too. Oh, oh. I saw that bark in my mouth. I have a little <laughs> napkin sticking to marshmallow. <laughs> All right, a little habanero pepper. There right. we go. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Not necessarily hot at the start. Mm -mm. I think the marshmallow and the graham cracker really tone it down. So do I, I go for a second I think bite? I go for a second yeah, one just yeah. to make sure. I'm still not really getting it. I feel a little bit of heat. Mm-hmm. But... Not... I mean, overall... Yeah, yeah that's really not that's bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so. What do you think? Well, it's more. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You yeah, got it? Good. Maybe you should try this. <laughs> All right. So, for our last combination, since the holidays are coming up, we came up with the gobble it up <laughs> s'more. So, mm -hmm. on this delicious treat, we have the 
famous canned cranberry mm, sauce, my along with turkey and marshmallow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's well, check I'm it out. Yeah. <laughs> There's quite a lot of bird on this. <laughs> There's a lot of meat. <laughs> Okay, All you right. ready? Yep. All right. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. It's uh, pretty sweet. Yeah. With the cranberry. It's really chewy. Yep. All right. Hmm. Now we did use dark meat. We did, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. It's usually my favorite, but. <laughs> All right. All right. Do you want a second bite of that one? No, I'm good. I'm really, I'm good. <laughs> All right. What do you think? Well, it's more. No. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I was not a fan. Mm -mm. So I, hopeful. I know. With Thanksgiving I really coming thought up. I was gonna be good. But. Uh, Give it a best shot. Not a fan. All right, so I'm just gonna take a sip of water here. All right, so that was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now it is time for At Creek Trivia. We want to congratulate C.J. McKeithen for winning last episode's trivia question. He guessed the closest number of climbing holes on our climbing walls. Congratulations, CJ, from Ellenboro, North Carolina. Now, in this episode, you will get the chance to win this awesome pen right here, made in the craft shop. So if you want to win this great prize, you need to answer the question, how many marshmallows can John fit in his mouth? I don't know, we're about to try and find out, but if you can make a guess, put it in the comments below or email us. That's right. And don't forget, it's never too early to register for camp or consider giving the gift of camp for Christmas this holiday season. So we thank you for joining us. Can't wait to see you again next time. But for now, bye. bye.